Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of Sword of the Stars of the Pit, Mind Games. Now in the last episode, we found a floor with two exits. That is a very meaningful thing, because it means one of these leads to a biome floor. Let's try this one first. Nope, not the biome floor. Okay, well, we're going to do a couple quick things here before we go back up. There's a bunch of enemies in this room, so we're going to clear them out so we can get back up safely. But we're also going to take off our armor. If this thing gets destroyed before we can repair it, we have no way of, he of keeping our armor up, so we're going to try and make it last as long as possible. We've also got a Mugala over here and a Tarka test subject. Let's zoom out again, I think. There we go. We've got a crazed surgeon as well. These guys are pretty nasty. Let's see if we can find our entry on them in the log. And they're not too hard to deal with because they only have really close ranged attacks, but they have pretty decent armor and pretty high health. Most of these uh, creatures are pretty high health enemies. So we're going to have to deal with that soon. So let's see what's behind us. Nothing behind us. All right. How are we going to deal with all these guys? We could probably go for probably just some bullets, honestly. If we use our heavy pistol here, that might be a good choice. We're going to move over to the side, get as far away from that guy as possible, and then we'll shoot our Tarka. There we go. Tarka's berserk. That's fine. We've got plenty of room here to give us some free space, and we should be able to kill them off. Yep, pretty safely kill off the surgeon over there. Hopefully before he manages to knock us unconscious, because that would not be good. There we go. He's dead. Take up hot shots at this guy, but he does have a bazillion health, which is going to be a bit of a problem for us. I can't afford to reload this weapon, so I'm going to change weapons and try and take a couple of hot shots at him with our auto pistol, since we have a bazillion ammo for that too. But this is not the best situation for us, because these guys do not die easy. We could just walk up and start hitting him with our sword as well, which is probably what I'm going to start doing soon, because that'll get him down eventually, and there is a med bay in this room, so we're not completely out of luck. I guess that's what we'll try. We'll see how hard he hits this time. These guys aren't generally too dangerous, but they can hit you pretty darn hard. Let's see, 40 damage hit. The fact that their range is really slow is what makes it not so bad, but the fact that they hit so hard is pretty nasty, especially since we're not wearing armor. And the fact that we don't have armor on is just going to constantly be a problem for us, but we'll see what we can do here. I might just be able to repair my armor. I think I have uh, a few things we can use on that, even if it's duct tape. But we'll hang on for now, and then we'll see about that then. Alright, probably should have done that first, but you know what, that's fine by me. Let's kill off this monster, he's got a bazillion health, but there he goes. See if we can't get some health back from this med bay, use one of our electronic toolkit charges to give ourselves a better chance of it. Nope, we failed that one, okay, what's okay, is there anything in this locker, maybe something good? Nope, lockpick set, not great. Anything in this medical kit bay? Immunojolt, not great either. Okay, well, we can swap one of our less complete lockpicks for this more complete lockpick. No reason for the not do that. I believe we do actually have... We have one nano reconstructor. I don't really want to use this. I could use the duct tape. We have two of those. But then our armor is going to be even weaker. Hmm. It's not a good situation to be in either way. I think what we're going to do at the very least... I don't want to duct tape it, but I also don't want to waste the nano reconstructors. Our last one, I might be able to copy them later. They're super useful for a variety of things. I don't know. I don't know. Oh well. I guess I guess we just need to repair this thing. So we'll use a duct tape on it. It's not a great repair, but it means it'll be alive a little bit longer. We can wear it again, which will give us a little bit more protection here, and then we can get back to work. So we're going to go back upstairs, and we're going to go over to the other room. Because this one, in this case is our biome. I'm going to heal up in here in the safety pod first, just for the fun of it. There we go. Close that. Hit X to rest, and I will see you again when the resting is done. There we go. We're all rested up, and I know there's a med kit on the floor there, but we're probably going to use that later anyway, so I'm just going to leave it there for now. We should also eat some food. I don't just want to eat all my breads, but... We've got a lot of them. I'll just eat the rest of this stack of breads and we can bring our med kit with us. And I think I'll also chug an energy drink just for the time being. That'll give us up to six movement speed, I believe, which is pretty outrageous. No, it only gives us five. That really? I guess it only increases your movement speed by one. I thought it gave you a, a percentage base boost. That's okay. We'll drop down here and then you'll see what the biome area is all about. Is that a cow? I have never seen a cow before. Huh. That's interesting. Anyway, this place is dangerous. There are no walls anywhere. So, there's a, a yeti in the background there, a gigantopith gigantopithecus. 
rather. There are yetis as well, but that is not one of them. We're going to swing around, try and take out this mind wolf before it tries to fear affect us. Being hit with fear in here is exceptionally dangerous because you will just run. You will just run forever. Oh, I ran too far there. But yeah, so that is something to be avoided if at all possible. This place is a dangerous place though. There are lots of enemies. They will all come from miles around to come murder us and they're going to give us a hard time. The gigantic Pythus here, we can basically just punch him to death eventually. He does hit a lot though. He's got a lot of health. It's going to take us a while to get through him. Unfortunately, this friend is coming over too, and he is a little bit more dangerous. We're going to try and use the Gigantopithecus to get in the way so he can't actually get over to us, because we should be able to stay on the opposite side of him to make sure that they can't hit us at the same time, especially because we have that super movement speed. Although I moved too far there, so I'm going to turn around and shoot him. And we're getting shot in the back. You've got to be very careful about moving around in this area, because otherwise you get hit by more things. Is that the flower attacking us? I think it is. Yeah, the sunflowers are shooting us. <laughs> Thanks, flowers. Alright. Attack this guy. They're definitely shooting us. Ouch, that really hurts too. Okay, we're going to try and get out of their line of sight so they can't keep doing that. We're just going to run using our super long movement range. Turn around and shoot this guy. Eventually, these guys will go down. But this is a nasty pl- Uh-oh, cow's angry. I don't know what the cow can do, but I'm worried about it because I've never seen it before. New enemies are always scary. Kill witches. Two, three, four, and turn around to fire on them. I just want this guy to die. The problem is he has a bazillion health, and I don't want to get caught fighting all these other people in the area, otherwise we could get in serious trouble. But I'm going to have to fight them now, because I'm getting cornered here. Thankfully, it looks like he'll go down another three or four slashes. And I can turn around and hit both of them here, which is good. Now it's not so good. I'm going to turn around, get around behind him, and slash there. The problem is I also don't want to get poisoned. Looks like I don't have much choice now, though. Thankfully, we can't hit the, uh, the spider and the giant guy. There we go. And he dropped some more Tarka War Bread for us. What do you know? All right, let's kill ourselves another spider. <laughs> this place is really interesting. It's very different from everywhere else in the game. But I'm... They're very worrying places. They're very good for giving you food items, but that's about it. Which makes them a little bit less valuable for the amount of work you have to do to... Oh, they broke our armor. The amount of work you have to do to be here, too. The cow just kicked us. <laughs> okay, cows aren't that scary then, I guess. Pretty funny, though. Kill the cow. He's pretty tough, though. Well, he's dead. Don't know what he does. <laughs> he's dead. Interesting. Alright, well, we're getting beat up really bad here, which is what I expected would happen, especially since we lost our armor. I probably should change to the lightning blade now and go for that extra stunning ability. Makes these guys a lot harder, uh, easier to deal with because that way they can't move around as much and still attack us. For now, I just want this one to die. He doesn't want to die, though, and I'm a bit worried now because my health is getting quite low. I'm going to back up and shoot at him until he dies so I don't take any more damage from him. Thank you very much. There we go. He's dead. There's a scale skin. I'm going to grab that since we know that we know now that there is armor associated with having scale skin. So I'm going to hold on to those. That is really low health, though, so I'm going to see what healing items we have. And we'll burn out the rest of this med kit. We'll probably go back upstairs and grab that other one, which is why I left it there. Oh, this is the one I brought with me, this isn't it? Hmm. That's right, I didn't leave it there. That's not so good. But yeah, there's a lot of nasty things in here. There are all kinds of animals. More Mughalas, there's stone moles. There's just a bazillion enemies. It's an entire map's worth just full of enemies. It eats through your ammo, eats through your armor, eats through your healing items. It's just a nasty place. Oh yeah, this plant is currently attacking us. I forgot about that die plant as far as I know you don't get anything from the blood vine but you can try and fight them there we go it's dead and he spat acid at us fantastic let's run excellent this is just a series of nasty nasty things we could try and shoot these guys to death we might be able to get some good stuff out of them I wouldn't mind getting another scale skin from here because that would kind of justify the ammo expenditure if I can get myself a new armor piece out of it uh, but I'm not so convinced we'll get one very easily We'll have to look around here and see what we can do. Take our heavy ammo out on them too. We got lots of different kinds of ammunition we can use here. We, if we try and stay and clear out the whole place, we will probably run out of ammo though. There is a bazillion enemies in these places. Okay, let's take down the little guy first. That's probably gonna grab his attention. Yes, it did. Can we hit him? Apparently not. I guess pistols don't uh, do so well at that super long range. That's fine though. We'll come a little bit closer and take him out nice and easy. There we go. Heavy pistol time, I think, to take on the Mugala here. That should do a bit of extra damage. Not really, but that's okay. We have a decent amount of shots ready that we can fire from this. So I'm not too worried about it. 
Yeah, this, this place is nasty. I might try and clear out one floor of this place, but I probably won't because it's just so inefficient as far as ammunition and health and what have you goes. I think we'll swap to the Lightning Blade because our SAR is getting quite low and the stunning effect here is quite nice. Our health is taking a beating though, which is not cool. Alright, we're going to need to go heal up again. This is probably going to be a repeat issue in this area. Constantly needing to stop and go back and get way more health. We are going to back up from him though, because I really don't want to get bitten to death. And we're going to shoot him to death. This should work eventually. We have lots of ammo to burn here. Come on now. Come on now. There we go. Sheesh. Alright, we need some health back. We could use these Tarkin Field Surgeries if we need it in a hurry, but I'm going to try and just rest here, although I did just hear someone walking. So they might be coming to get us. Hard to say. Anyway, I'll, be, I'll get back when either something interrupts us or we complete our rests. Well, that's a little bit better. We'll leave it like that for now. I think we can grind and grab some of this stuff, though, and then we'll be able to keep going here. What else can we easily see? There's these trees, which are interesting. You can get fruit from them. Ah! Getting shot by flowers again. All right, let's machine gun that flower and see what happens. It's going to keep firing sun at us. I've never actually seen one of these before, either. I guess I haven't been to many biomes yet. There's a lot of hidden stuff in here that I have yet to discover. There we go. It's, it drops combat processors? Really? Okay. If you say so, game. If you say so. I hear other enemies, but I don't see them yet. There they are. Okay, we can gun him down, thankfully enough. Got some nice long range on this here weapon. I should probably reload my heavy pistol soon, but I'm just going to use the auto pistol here to kill that guy off nice and safely. And we can kill off the bat nice and safely from a distance as well. He's going to come close. I can sar him to death. There we go. But yeah, these trees all have a chance to drop fruit if you examine them. I'm just trying to make sure we clear out a little bit of space around us before we start examining stuff, though, because there's a bazillion different enemies that could be in here. And I'd like to try and make sure we don't get ambushed while we're trying to investigate things like trees. Much better to just play it a bit safer and not have to worry about those kinds of problems. There we go. Now we can hack up a bear. He's stunned. We're getting attacked. But thankfully, we should have the health to tank this. And if not, we do still have those Tarkin Field Surgery kits. We are taking some pretty bad hits, though. Eh, need armor at all, friend. That's what we need. There we go. They're dead. That's good. This is the edge. None of these things, I think, can be interacted with. These are just trees and plants and what have you. But we can come back over here and interact with this tree. Now, there are some bad things that can happen when you interact with the trees. So I think I am just going to pop a couple charges of our Tarkin Field Surgery Kit here, just to make sure we have some health. This one, let's see if we get anything good out of it. We do. We got a nut of some kind. Was it what's it called? Hoff nuts? Something like that? Hoff nuts. We'll grab some hoff nuts. Uh, what can we do here to make sure? I'll use another charge of our sharpening kit on the SAR there. There we go. That's good. That we won't break if we get hit with acid or something. And I'll just eat another Tarka war bread, throw out the bindings. We don't need those. There we go. We have plenty of inventory space if I just remember not to pick up garbage. There we go. So we can also try and interact with this tree, see if we get anything nice out of this one. Do we? Yes, we do. We got a bazanzanzan fruit. <laughs> Two of them, in fact. They're 20 food value. These are 50 food value. They can cause dangerous hallucinations, though. <laughs> so we have to watch out with those. But yeah, there's some interesting things we can try and make with them, I believe. I'm not sure if I have all the recipes that I remember, but there are some interesting things you can make with the recipes there. Some more food. Can't say no to more food. That's really what we're here for. So I guess we will dump something. We can probably afford to dump the pineal gland if I picked it up. I don't think we did. Okay, can I reload my assault rifle? Yes, I can. To get rid of five bullets. There we go. That gives us an extra inventory slot. We can pick up the food rations. Perfect. Now, there are more sunflowers down there. We're going to have to gun them down. Otherwise, they are going to be giving us a hard time. So, we're going to drop over here and hit them with the assault rifle. Get out of here, flowers. I wonder what happens if you try and interact with them. Are they just a, a, like a stationary enemy? We try and get nice and close here. Can I interact? No, they're just an enemy. There we go, they're dead. And a Mind Wolf. Thankfully, our Fear Blocker has recharged, so we're not too worried about that. We can try and gun him down as well. You can't fear me. I'm not worried about you right now. There we go. Assault Rifle's coming in handy for this stage, I think. We'll probably try and take out the Plague Bear next. He's not moving for some reason, which is kind of strange. We're not going to go close to him, though, just in case there's something else sneaky at work here. There we go. He's dead. Okay. That's good. What else have we got going on? Oh, whoop, whoop. The Whip and Whirl is an enemy. 
and they have a stone mole there as well. I think we'll try and gun him down too, just to make sure we're out of range so he can't hit us with his nasty acid and damage any of our nice pieces of gear. It is a bit of a waste of our assault rifle ammo, and I really, I, I know already that coming in here is a bad idea, but I'm doing it anyway because it's an interesting place that you can't see if you haven't actually played the Mind Games DLC. I'm pretty sure this is not an interactable object either. Just a fancy looking tree, that's right. Same with these, yes. The whip and whirl we can go up and take a look at though. This is an enemy, Lost it does that, that, whips time. at you. You can't interact with it as far as I can tell. You can hack at it oh. for quite some time and it doesn't seem to drop anything either. I'm gonna try and kill this one just to see if it does drop anything this time, but from my experience, the whip and whirl just attacks you and doesn't do anything. Oh, dropped a bit of high caliber ammo. Hmm. That's the first time they've dropped anything for me, what do you know? Alright, now we've got to be very careful about exploring downwards too, because any further down we go, we'll expose new enemies, such as these, and will give us more things we need to watch out for. For the time being, it looks like we're pretty well okay here, but we still have to be very careful about not getting too many things on us at the same time. There we go. That sounds like there's something else nearby as well. It's like two things are moving here, but I don't see what they are, so I'm just going to be very careful, do some damage to this guy clear him out from a bit of a safe distance before we get into anything else above our heads. He's got a lot of health though. All these yeti type creatures have a bazillion health and that's part of the problem with coming here. Unless you really need the food, it's not necessarily a great idea. I just want the scale skin really, but I know we left some upstairs. I might be able to go back and get some later. There's a stone crab. If I wanted that, I could grab it. I think we actually have enough gear now to make some nice sandwiches though, some hero sausages. So that's a pretty nice little benefit as well. Let's see, I'll leave that whip and roll alive because it's not doing any harm to us at the moment. Is there anything else interesting hiding around in here? That looks like it has some blood vine in it. One of these does. They don't always, but a lot of them do. There's another one of those stone moles, so we'll try and gun him down again using our nice ranged attacks. See if we can clear him out of here before he manages to spray acid on us. Looks like we can, so we'll spread some bullets over to the bear, and then we can go kill him with our, our melee weapons rather than trying to hit him at a distance. We can probably afford to tank another bear a couple hits. There we go. Slice up the bear. They hit pretty hard though, especially since we have no armor, but I think we can kill them off before we take too much damage. There we go. Sadly, he didn't drop any meat though, which is what I was kind of hoping for there, because I think meat is the, the food item we need the most at the moment. We should have a bunch of hyper cheese, and we still have like 10 uh, Tarka war breads. Do we actually have any cheese? Yeah, we have three. So if I can use our cooker here. We can turn this into cooked meat, which allow us to make three hero sausages. We're not going to try and make them at the same time, though, because the chance of failure for the hero sausage is like 20%, so we're going to be very careful about that. But yeah, if we make one, oh, well, it's 99%. We'll make them all at the same time. If we do fail it, then that is just the game telling us it hates us. There we go. Some sausages. That'll be nice. That helps our food problem quite a bit. We don't have to keep eating Tarko Warbreads for no reason. I think we might just drink another energy drink, though, to make sure we can get around here even easier. There we go. That extra movement speed will be nice if we have to evade anything else. There are lots of animals in here, though. If we find any more of them, you'll see what I mean. Good. There's some more food. This place is all about giving you food. Ah, sunflowers. Didn't even see you there. All right, let's turn around. We'll deal with the spider when it gets to us. I didn't mean to accidentally rest there, but that's fine. Try again. And we can clearly wipe out this spider. If he poisons us, that won't be too good, but we do have a chemical neutralizer, I believe, ready for this kind of situation, so that won't be too hard to deal with. There's a plague bear down there, though, which you got to be careful of, too. Oh, stop the shooting me. There's another cow, too. Let's slice up the cow and see if we can get anything from it. It probably just gives you meat if you kill it. I'm kind of surprised that there are cows here, though. It wasn't something I was expecting to see. We also want to watch out for that guy coming around our backs. Yeah, he gives us raw meat. How much? Of oh, three raw meat. That's pretty solid, actually. That's pretty solid. All right, let's try. Do you have anything else we could use against him that'd be pretty effective? Not particularly. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I'm going to eat this to give us another inventory space, and I think we're probably going to just have to deal with this guy. I don't want to have to shoot him though, we use up so much ammo fighting these guys. I'm going to use the auto pistol though, because those ammo, those pieces of ammunition are more, uh, are less valuable at this stage. They do less damage, they're less long range, they are less uh, frequent, they're a little bit more expendable. Plus we have so many of them, it's easier for us to justify using more of them in one go. There we go. We're going to get bit this time. Yeah, it didn't do that right, that's okay. Should have backed up another tile there. We have a huge movement range, gotta make sure I make use of it. 
Oh, now I need to reload. These guys are a pain in the butt, though. That's, I think we're probably going to leave here soon. If we can get a piece of scale skin from this guy, that'll be good enough. We can just go. Uh, we might finish off this row, but we're probably not going to do the whole place, because as you can see, we are just chewing through our ammunition, and through our gear, and through our health items and whatnot, and all we're really getting from it is a bit of extra food. We can always come back here later on if we need more food, but I think for the time being, it's more efficient for us to go anywhere else, really. There we go. We gotta watch out for him, he's getting close. Not today, pal. And I missed. <laughs> Genius. And I think he's dead this turn. Yes, he is. Good. No scale skin, though, unfortunately. You can level up quite a bit in this kind of place, but uh, very dangerous place to be any either way. All right, we're going to rest up again, so I will see you again once we are fully rested. Uh, all right, there we are. Back on the right track yet again. Let's see if we can get down there and see if there's anything else of value in this place we can steal. We get some apples from this tree, maybe. Let's see. Yep, apples. Fantastic. Is that one apples? We have one apples. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> we shake the tree again? Oh, you can! <gasps> we have two apples! <laughs> That's a bit more like it. I didn't know you could shake trees more than once. We find another tree we've already shaken? Hey, that's cool. You learn something new every day. I guess I should have tried that, given that the tree obviously wasn't used up, as it didn't gray out. Interesting. I guess that's how they get you, because that way you get more than one chance at the bad options on the trees, as well as more than one chance at the food options. That's pretty cool. And there is another one of these nasty guys, stinking Mugalas. Alright, well we might be able to get some good stuff from him. Again, we're still looking for more scale skin, because then we can make that recipe we just found. I'm not entirely sure what it was for, though, or if we even completed it. But there was a new kind of armor that used scale skin, and I'm interested to try it out. Doesn't look like we actually managed to finish that recipe. Where's our log, then? Here it is. Is it this one? Here it is? Yeah. Two skins, superconductors, nanowire, and... Oh, we don't even have the nanowire anyway. Whatever. We'll try and get it, and we'll see what we can do. So, I think what we're going to do for this guy is we'll just use our heavy pistol on him first, take some pot shots at him, reduce that health by about 80. There is the gigantic Opithecus. Not good. Let's see if we can get away from him without him noticing us. There are some nasty creatures in here, seriously. We can afford to take some more damage now because we have our full health bar again. We have plenty of food so we can easily regenerate. Probably what you're supposed to do to manage this place is combine the, uh, the food with the resting to get your health back quickly. But as it stands, it's still a little bit of a dangerous proposition for us. Since we have no armor to speak of, we take pretty humongous damage. And if we're fighting two people at the same time here, it can quickly get out of hand. So let's try and keep down to just one enemy for the time being and see if we can't take him out. Keep a bit of a distance from him. If he gets a bit closer, we might start slashing him with the blade, especially since it looks like the other enemy has backed off for now, which is quite nice. He seems to be staying at a distance from us, though, which is very helpful. There we go. We might even level up from this place, because there are a lot of enemies in here. You can get a lot of experience. There he is. Alright, I think we're just gonna fight him. We'll use our lightning blade for this, because that way we can take advantage of the stun effect if we get it. Might make it harder for him to deal with us. If we can move around him, he might try and move around us. He didn't move too far there, so we'll shoot him in the back. I don't know why I was double moving, but that's okay. And we'll swing around behind him and see what he does. This is what I was trying to do last time. He might just turn around and punch us, but I think... Yeah, there we go. He gets a bit confused and tried to move. If we can manipulate him to do that more than once, that would be very nice. But doesn't... Yeah, there we go. If we can be directly behind him, it looks like sometimes he doesn't attack us properly. So that is nice. And now he should die. There we go. We leveled up as well, which is excellent. Oi, okay. Let's see. Where else have we not gone in this area? Down to this corner? Okay. That is another Mugala. You guys just do not give up. Alright. Come on at me. We're going to fight you with the lightning blade, I think. You have a bazillion health. And you do a lot of damage, but we're going to fight you the hard way anyway. Alright. Can we get around behind you? Yes, we can. Do you move? No, you just turn around and hit us. That's okay. I'm just moving around him to try and get him to move rather than just immediately attack. Since he is stunned, we can take advantage of this quite easily if he will let us. Doesn't look like he wants to, though. He's hitting us for 50 damage a hit. Such a nasty damage hit. Ugh. And the bite's a grab, too, I believe, which is even worse. But he should go down pretty quick, and our lightning blade has a bazillion uh, durability left on it. So even if it does take damage, we should be fine. And we can always level up if we need to heal in a hurry. Because that is definitely an option we've got now. 
This guy does not want to go down, though. Come on now. There you go. Okay. Get some teeth out of it. Don't need that. Oh, a basilisk? Yep, that's a stronger version, I believe. The Mogala is a weaker version of the basilisk. Let's just double check here to see what we're up against. The Mogala is uh, 250, 280, 60 armor, and the basilisk is... Let's see what they say about the cow. A large, dull-witted creature native to the human homeworld of Earth. The Bloodweaver's automated servants abducted a great many of these beasts during the 20th century. The reason for this is a mystery. It may have, in fact, been a malfunction. <laughs> awesome. But yeah, the Basilisk... Basilisk. Well, it's fairly similar. Hmm. Interesting. That's pretty... It might actually be a little bit weaker. I thought the Mogala was stronger, or rather weaker than the Basilisk, but apparently it might not be. Yeah, no, the Mughal is stronger. Hmm. Well, the Basilisk gets more attacks per moment, so I guess that's how it, uh, it counteracts that. I don't know. Either way, we're going to keep a distance from this guy, because he will hurt us bad if he gets to us. So, we're going to be gunning him down as quickly as we can. Is that a rabbit down there? Or is that just a uh, hiver? Or Azul, rather. It's Azul. Okay. We should be able to keep this guy at a safe distance pretty easily. I'm going to use one more salvo finish off this clip. Put assault rifle ammo on him and then we'll switch to a different weapon. Works pretty effectively though. We're keeping them at our distance. If we can use the auto pistol to clear the Zul pup, that would be good. Get him off of our backs as well. There we go. Now we'll switch to he heavy pistol. There's no ammo left in it. Okay. Auto pistol. You know what I'm going to try actually on him? I'm going to bring up the lightning spear. Take that, friend. Zzz. Him again. <laughs> this is not the most effective weapon, but it's a pretty cool one. It stunned him that time, so that's good. Hit him again. Paralyzed him. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Okay. Now we can hack up this guy. Well, we don't have to worry about running away from him. We can reload our assault rifle. Oh, he's probably going to de-paralyze right now. Yep. Back up. And we'll reload our pistol. He's right behind us. Yeah, pretty much. Keep gunning him down with a pistol since we have so many pistol bullets to spare. But like this is the thing, if you don't have this area to maneuver in, you fight one of these guys, you might have to actually fight them head on, and they can really hurt you. We have a bunch of free space we could just back up in here since you already cleared out about half the area, but if you didn't have that, it could be quite nasty. He should go down fairly soon, I believe. Fairly soon. There we go. There we go. Still no more scale skin, but that's fine. That's fine. Alright, we've got some more food here I can grab now, since we've used up so much ammunition. And it looks like we're just about halfway down this area. It's a massive, massive mess. That's fine, though. And there's another basilisk here. And this is what I mean. They just do not rest. You constantly fight these terrible creatures. Alright, now they're probably right behind us. No, not quite. <coughs> you know what we're going to try here? Just for fun, we're going to take out our rocket launcher. Fire one of these at them. If we fire this right there, we can hit both of them, but I want to make sure it hits as close to this guy as possible. Since we have no skill with the rocket launcher, it'll probably spread. Let's find out. Nope, 102 damage. That's what we're talking about. Alright, that gives us a nice edge on this fight. Let's back up and take him out with a heavy pistol, I think, if we can hit him with a heavy pistol, which apparently we can't. Wow. But yeah, the rocket launcher is a nice, powerful weapon, but uh, the ammo for it is pretty scarce and enormous, so you kind of have to take that with a grain of salt. Having a lot of it is not the easiest thing to do. Alright, he's going to go down eventually, but it might not be the easiest thing for us to do either, especially since he's now got us, so we're backing into unexplored territory, which is pretty much the worst thing you can do in here, because while these guys are bad on their own, they're even worse when there's, you know, seven of them and you get horribly surrounded and murdered. Also, I think I'm about to get attacked because I'm too close to him now. Nope, we got lucky that time. Back up and reload. Now, we should be able to take him out in a couple shots, I think. He's getting pretty low now. There we go, he's down. And we have a moon bear to murder off. He should go down pretty easy. There we go. Still no drops from these guys. We're getting bad luck on that. But yeah, this is just a nasty place. We might just turn around and book it for the hill. Uh-oh. Book it for the hills. There is a mind wolf. He tried to fear us. Thankfully, we were able to get our shield up first. There's another cow down there, which gives us some more meat. That would be nice. We might just hang around over here and kill some more guys for the time being, since there's nothing nasty. But if we run into another evil enemy, we might just run. There is another mind wolf, though. Thankfully, our mind shield... Oh, there's a... Come on! There was a... Uh, our mind shield lasted just long enough to protect us from that fear effect. We'd be very careful, though, because if we get feared now, it's probably game over. So we're going to back up again. And just to be on the safe side... Oh, I can't use another rocket. I haven't reloaded it yet, and it takes three turns to reload. We're going to use our scatter gun here on these guys. That should kill him nicely. There we go. 
I turn around, use it on you. I lose some decent damage. I just want to get him out of here so I can actually finish off what I was doing. This is very, very ammo expensive though, which is not great. Not great at all, but we do need this guy to get out of our way. Did that take 10 there? That was really high. Anyway, hack at him with our SAR to finish him off, I think. We should be able to kill him without too much damage. These guys don't actually hurt too much, so I should probably not be attacking them with all of our valuable ammunition, but it's... Ugh, they're so hard to resist. Now, those healing herbs there, which are, I think, a reference to Resident Evil, the red and the green herbs that you always combine in that game, will eat up the rest of those rations, which will give us an extra space. We can grab the ancient herbs, and we can come over here and murder this cow for a bit of extra meat. There we go. One more should do it. Oh, no, apparently not. Cows are tougher than they look. There we go. No meat was dropped, unfortunately. Can we get anything from this weird-looking plant? No. No, we cannot. All right, our health is getting pretty low. I probably should not keep exploring, but the temptation to explore is just too great. There's a plague bear down there and a... Uh oh stone mole. Okay. Let us turn around. <laughs> Tide the heads-up display with H and take some shots at him from here. We definitely don't want to get close to the stone mole. We could use some base paste and then just tank through him, but I don't want to deal with that right now. I know this plant's going to attack us. Oh, it didn't. That's interesting. But I'm not too worried about that at the moment. Our pistol's taking a bit of durability damage, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. I think we have to reload now. Yeah. So we'll move a couple more spaces away, reload, shoot him again. He should go down next salvo, I think, if we hit him with all of our shots. Nope. I guess one more. There it was. It was one bullet short. And now we can kill these guys with the SAR. I should probably turn my heads up display back on so I can see what's going on. There we go. Some more fat strips. I'll take them to turn to bacon later. There's some labeless berries tree here. Do we get labeless berries? We get bugs. We got bugs. This is the one of the bad things that can happen. You get three lamprey hawks come out of the tree. Thankfully, actually, I don't think we can use this. I just used up all the ammo without reloading it. Ugh. I was going to say, thankfully, we have a uh, scatter gun just for this purpose. But I'll just lightning blade them in instead. That'll work pretty well. And they'll get rid of them pretty quick. How did you not get hit there? I'm not sure. Hide our heads up display, attack in the corner, I should kill them both. There we go. And time to reload some weapons, I think, because we're we're asking for trouble here by not putting ammo in our guns while we explore further. Reload all these things. This, this diseased bear does not want to have anything to do with us, which is interesting. Normally they're a lot more aggressive, I think. Reload the scatter gun as well. There we go. Let's see. Is there anything else that needs reloading? Yep, the rocket launcher needs to be reloaded. That'll do. Perfect. And it looks like the tree is still good to try again. More lamprey hawks. Awesome. Alright, we are going to use the scatter gun this time. We're gonna back up and shoot them. You're all dead. Oh, you're not all dead. You're almost all dead, though. Now you're all dead. Awesome. That was not the best use of our time, but that's okay. We should be able to try and take out this bear with the auto pistol. I really... I just can't resist trying to show this place off. I really should not still be in here, but... Curiosity killed the cat, as they say. We'll see if our ammo deficiency shows up to be a problem later. We have plenty for now, but we'll see if we can hold on to it later on. And we can all look back at this time and laugh. Laugh at our own foolishness. Alright, we might get diseased here, which would not be great. But if we can get away without that happening, perfect. Okay, there's an... Uh-oh. Another mind wolf over here. Activate our fear resistance. Thank you. And hack at him. Now, he didn't move, so we can hack him again. Still didn't move. We can hack him again. Now there's more enemies coming, more Mogullas. I'm going to use our level up to heal. We're going to put the points into brains again. Up to 75 brains is pretty darn nice. We'll put our points into lockpick, electronics. There's a three. That's good. Lockpick isn't too important since we have the phase gloves. Mechanical. There's a one. Ugh. Computer. There's a two. Not great, but not terrible. Uh, we'll take points into decipher. Sure. We'll take points into blade, I guess, and get close to 100 as possible, since we use so much of it. Uh, foraging, yes. Put another one into resistance. There we go. There's two points into that. And not too great as far as any of these things go. We'll put a point in medical, since our medical skill is not amazing. We don't want to fail our med usage when we need it. And I guess I'll put points into pistol, and we'll stop there. Okay. Now we have health back, so we can afford to tank some of these guys, but not all of their attacks. We're going to try and shoot down the spider first. I really don't want to get hit with that poison effect while I'm fighting other things. Come over here, spider. Oh, there's the mind wolf still there. I'm a fool. I, don't know how I forgot about him. There he is. And now he's dead. Oh, scale skin. Perfect. Okay. That works out really nicely. I think that's the two we need. Yes. Now all we need is nano wire, which we should get eventually. And we'll be able to try and actually make the things that we're talking about. Now, you are going to be a problem there, Magala. I'm going to try and use some bullets on you. Well, actually, we use our lightning spear first. If I can paralyze you, that'll make it nice and easy. 
Can we paralyze you? He's stunned. Can I paralyze him? Doesn't look like it. There we go. He's paralyzed. Okay, now that he's paralyzed, what are we going to do? Let's just walk up and lightning blade him twice. One, two, three, and now we back off. <laughs> hey, awesome. Now we can use the lightning spear again. We'll use the rest of the charge on him. Maybe we'll reload it. I'm not sure. We have a bazillion energy cells anyway. Hit him again. Hit him again. Come on, paralyze him. That's all I want. Yeah, paralyzed. All right, now we're gonna charge up and hit him with the SAR since we don't actually need the lightning blade. Doesn't really do a whole lot extra. Now he's unparalyzed, so we back off. <laughs> what a nasty strategy. All right, we're gonna heavy pistol this guy now. I'm gonna afford to spend some of those bullets. There's a bit of damage. Bit more damage. These guys are tough though. They do not go down easy. Oh, okay. Almost done this nasty, nasty floor, and we'll be able to move on. But yeah, if you want my advice about what to do if you come across a biome floor, it's don't go in it unless you really need food. Because otherwise, I can't, I can't see how it's worth it. You, you use so much gear to come through here. Something big is moving around too. Don't know what it is yet. All right, let's grab this rot pile. Is there anything good in there? Thank you. No, nope, more salt force rations. There's so much food in this place. Um, what do we get rid of now? Hard to say, really. We need ballistic repair kit our pistol. We'll do that, yes. And we'll also ballistic repair kit nothing else since it doesn't need it. Awesome. Sharpening kit. Does anything need sharpening? Not really. Our SAR is getting pretty darn low. It's getting to the point where we won't be able to use it very easily anymore. But that's fine. We have a lot of food we don't need, but I'm just going to junk those bits of metal. And take the food instead, because food is much more valuable than a random crafting ingredient. Because you can use it to give yourself the ability... Oh, come on now. Ouch. I shouldn't have walked up close to this guy. Or shouldn't have stayed close to him either. We'll switch guns here to the scatter gun. I was thinking about something else. It does take ten... Wow! They really nerfed this thing. It takes ten shots for three attacks. That is monstrous. I didn't even... I, I wondered if that was what was happening there, but wow, that's so expensive. So ammo inefficient. Wow. It used to be five for three, I think. That might have been just the mag rifle I'm thinking of, though. Ten ammunition for three shots. Jeez, not using that again. <laughs> not, not unless we need it. All right, assault rifle. You're going to kill this Mugala if we can help it. These guys have a bazillion health, though, as we've seen previously. We've gotten to the end, and I'm interested in doing this for two reasons. So far, every single biome area I've gotten through, the door at the end has led to another biome area. And I'm interested in seeing if that's just random chance being against me, or if that's actually how they work. If it is another biome area, we're not going through it. We're going to go back, and we'll go down the other story, the other, other floor, rather. Uh, but I'm interested in seeing what it really is all about. We also know there's a sunflower up here we missed. Somewhere. I think it's there? Yeah. So we ha should watch out for that. But there's also trees here we can gather apples from, which is nice. I should have moved there. I don't know why I didn't. There we go. And some other bazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazaz
Oh, this is a bad place to be feared, too. If we run in the wrong directions, we could be in serious trouble. As far as I know, nothing gets you out of the fear effect as well. Which is extra nasty. Um, how are we going to deal with this? How are we going to deal with this? I don't think we actually have anything that will help us de-fear ourselves. We're going to grab an energy drink to make us move even faster while we're under our fear effects. We can probably... Why are you running in that direction, you fool? Oh, come on. This might be a game over. This might actually be game over right here. I don't have control of my character. We're running into characters who can grab us. There are two enemies nearby who can cast fear on us. I'm running back and forwards in circles. Can I cast my psychic abilities? No. As soon as this ability ends, I'm probably going to get feared again. This is how this game ends. This game is an absolute jerk. I, I can't... I'm just moving back and forth. I'm holding right. I cannot control my character. This is not a fun game mechanic, developers. I don't know why you thought this was a good idea. It is not a good idea. I cannot do anything. Like, I can't attack. I tried to attack him there. It didn't work. All I can do is run back and forth in a small pattern. Can I heal myself? Yes, okay, I can heal myself. Great. I can't get out of this loop, though. All I have to do is sit here and let them attack me. There we go. Okay, now I can mind shield. Now we can't do it again. But, like, if we were unlucky there, they would have feared us again instantly, and we would have been stuck. There's another mind wolf around here somewhere. We saw them earlier. It's just this whole thing is evil. All right. All right. More Soul Force rations. Oy. Let's see. If we want to clear out any inventory space, the best way to do that... Hmm. How are boots doing? Boots are not bad. I don't know what the best way to do that is. We could probably just use up some more pistol ammo or reload. Reload one of these guns. Might be able to get some ammo out of it into a new slot. I don't think this is quite going to be enough, though. Can I just pick these things up now? I don't think so. No. Oh, there's one slot. Yep, that was what I wanted. Okay, I can get the food rations. There we go. There were some other food rations I left over there, I think. We're not going to worry about them right now. I just want to catch that mind wolf. I was born to kill and he kids. failed the fear effect. Thank goodness. Okay, we can hack him up now. Ugh, I thought our psi shield was actually still active. Goodness. All right, well, that was a mess. And that's partly why this place is so terrifying. Okay, we're just going to leave those two there. I'm okay with leaving those two guys there. That's fine by me. Let's run away. Can I not pick up more than two scale skin in one slot? That's interesting. Quite large uh, items, I guess. Is this a new biome floor? It is. Nope. Nope. Also, nope. Run. <laughs> I don't... They're so... They're so unreasonable. All right, we have to go back. We're going to head back over this way and then out of the biome floor anyway. You have now seen a biome floor. We're going to leave that sunflower to live. We're going to run away. That is what this place is all about. One of the new areas added into the game. They are pretty darn terrifying because of how dangerous they can be. How demanding they are on your uh, ammunition and your weaponry and all that stuff. But you get a ton of food out of them. That's the, the trade-off there. We're just going to run. Anything that's managed to survive on this floor gets to live. But yeah, we used up a lot of ammo there, so that might not have been a great trade for us. But we have lots of food now, so we can easily rest to recover our health in the future. Oh, okay. Well, now we have to go down this doorway. But, but first, I'm going to check the time, because I think that was probably at least a full episode, given how long it takes us to explore anywhere in here. So I will check that and be right back. Yep, as I suspected, that was definitely end for this episode. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. This has been Vanguard of Valor, playing some Sword of the Stars of the Pit mind games for you, exploring the new biome floors. Quite nasty things, as you can see. Anyway, we've managed to come out alive, so I look forward to seeing you next time when we explore the other version of Floor 17. Until then, bye-bye. <laughs>